Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Matiullah ati Rasul wa ulul amri minkum. And always a reminder for myself and abdukal ajisu da'ifu, miskinu, zalim, mujahad. <coughs> but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence. And alhamdulillah, bi madakum and nazarakum ya ahlil wa ahlil bayt al kiram that the lights of Imam Mahdi salam, the lights of Ashab al Badr alayhim salam, and the immense light of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. That all this Allah packed on this beautific weekend, these two, three days in the middle of Ramadan is the full moon, Ahlil Badr means the, the people of the full moon, not only the battle of Badr but the people of the full moon and the realities of Imam and Hassan salam and the reality of light. The special meetings with Sayyidina Mahdi salam that Allah put into the whole month of Ramadan because that du'a to be accepted and the immensity of its power that Allah inspires us is to do your best deeds in Ramadan because Allah is giving without an eye to see, an ear to hear or for anyone to understand Allah gives from His oceans of infinite generosity without the intercession or understanding of anything in creation. So it makes time for a time in which to the saviour of humanity to make du'a. Means if we see how Allah strategically places everything so that it's filled with lights, filled with blessings. And that that munajjad and that du'a to save those whom are destined to be under that protection and to move through the last days and these oceans of difficulty. And Prophet's teaching that three places will be safe from the dajjal and the movement of this nation of deceit people of deceit and the system of deceit that only Mecca, Medina and Sham al-Sharif will be safe for the believers. And alhamdulillah that only Allah come from the… As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. Heart of Sayyidina Muhammad and teach from their inspirations that from one understanding of Mecca, Medina and Sham al-Sharif is what do they represent and how to make oneself from that reality. That not only being in that location but to be from that location. Means to be from Ahlul Hijaz and the people of Mecca, then we come to the understanding of Mecca represents the house of Allah And then the teaching was that every time the Kaaba is mentioned it's a state for our heart. Because anyone who wants to circumambulate the house of God then must make a house within their own heart for Allah So means that they have to be from the people of a clean heart because what Allah describes for Mecca is clean the Kaaba, clean the precincts, circumambulate my house and worship me.
And in the talks that we gave the assimilation of the Kaaba and the heart that any time we read in Holy Qur'an references to the Kaaba, it's a reference to our heart that we have to keep the Kaaba with us wherever we go. So it means that our heart has to transform to a Kaaba and that the, har the heart has to be al-haramain that which you bring into your heart not to be from haram. Haramain means there's no forbidden, it's in the forbidden city. Means the, the, the bad actions are forbidden in the presence of the Kaaba. That you, you leave the dunya desire because we describe that you make tawaf is a state of your mind and understanding. If you tawaf your car means you're continuously thinking in your mind, whooshing and then people obsessed with dunya items, that's their circumambulation because that which you circumambulate is you're constantly thinking about. Allah draws us to go once in your lifetime and then drop everything you're thinking about, circumambulate the holy house. Why? Because as you're going around you're thinking of your whole life, how I got here, that Allah called me and I came. And this is what's important in my life is to spend my life moving in the worshipness of Allah So it means that for us to be safe from this dajjal and this deception and, and to be with the people who are going to be with Sayyidina Mahdi Salaam, Prophet gives us immense reality. That you want to be from the people of Hijaz then make your heart a Kaaba. Because they go wherever the Kaaba is, who, who are with the, the four corners of the Kaaba? Allah said, you want to be with me and then gives the four corners, you have to be with Nabiin, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Salihin and this is the best of company. Allah describes the in Ayatul Kareem the Kaaba, there's four corners, four categories. You must with, be with the prophetic reality. With the Siddiqeen reality, the holy companions, shuhada, those whom their hearts are open, and salihin, righteous and pious servants who follow the shaykhs and the guidance of open hearted people. We don't follow the heart of, of closed hearted people because whatever they did, it didn't open for them. So, why would we follow? Our life is to follow the open hearted people that their hearts opened. They gained access to the great Siddiqs, the holy companions and awliya and they gained and gave us access to the presence of Prophet Then we cleaned our heart, we purified our heart, we washed our heart and in our life is a continuous fight to make tawaf around what Allah wants for us because our tawaf is a battle. Every time you want to go around a new desire comes, you fight it. Every time you want to go around again a new desire comes, a, a new media comes, a new sort of distraction comes in our life and we struggle and fight it. If we gain that reality then the heart becomes Ahlul Hijaz, the people of, of Mecca. More important the people whom their hearts are like a Kaaba. Why? Because Allah's love is there, the Nabiyeen, the love of the prophetic reality is there, the holy companions' loves are there, the shuhada and the, those whom their hearts are open, Ahlul Basira, they are accompanying you and Salihin are all around you. And Allah describes, I'm with them. And we described before if you're missing one of those categories then there's a concern from Allah If in your life you don't have this state and love of Nabiyeen and the presence of Prophet then you're not with Allah because Allah's with Nabiyeen. That's why they teach that you have to have the love of Sayyidina Muhammad because you need that love with you to validate who you are and what you love and your love is correct. Because if, if the heart is not with that love, it's not with Allah. It may imagine it's with Allah and Allah describes, have you seen those people who they make their desires their Lord? They desire that relationship 
that can't be calibrated with the presence of Prophet so they take out the prophetic reality. And that's what's very important about this Dajjal system coming because they may all say, Allah, 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 but they may not never say, Muhammadun Rasulullah <coughs> So then we know that that's not an Ahlul Hijaz. So more than ever this is an immensely important state that the heart is in its being, is becoming Ahlul Hijaz, it's becoming a, a, a Kaaba. If your heart is becoming a Kaaba then whom is the, the Lord of the Kaaba is now your second state of Medina. That if the light, what, what we say? Hasbi Rabbi Jallallah, ma fi qalbi qayrullah, Nur Muhammadun sallallah. If your heart is for Allah and the heart became the Kaaba, then you have to be and your soul has to be Madani and Medina. Your soul has to be Muhammadiyun. Because only Sayyidina Muhammad knows how to worship Allah. So means to be from the people of Med Medina is means the people of the city of the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Because you made your heart to have this love and this ishq and if that's really true and you're really sincere your soul has to be Muhammadiyun. Why? Because this is what Prophet described to Sayyidina Umar that your faith is not complete until you love me more than you love yourself. Everybody thinks of themselves but when you're lost in that state of love in which Prophet wounds for us, you are second, you're in the back of the bus, Prophet is driving the reality. That what Prophet wants is supreme, what Prophet wants is what my whole life is trying to desire to keep that desire, that compass and that direction. We have a limited free choice but if any time Prophet gives his isharat means that's the direction. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. This is a du'a to the king. When Sayyidina Isa gave this to his people means that the, the kingdom of my father is coming and his station in heaven is the sultanate of all realities. And if you want to prepare for the Muhammadan kingdom as it arrives, the Muhammadan will must be done. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Ali Sayyidina Muhammad wa sallim. Sallim No Allah, what do we say? Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Ali Sayyidina Muhammad. No, sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslim. Salli alayhi wa sallimu. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Say, say. Ala Nabi, Ya Ayyuhu Allatina Amanu, Sallu alayhi wa sallimu wa sallimu taslima. Taslima is a beauty, taslim is to submit. So it means this is the state of the soul and the reality of ishq in which the soul knows the ocean in which it came from. It knows that it came from the realities of Muhammadun Rasulullah and the perfect worshipness for Allah is in the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah So means this safety of Medina is when the servant is overwhelmed by the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and knows the supremacy of Prophet and then knows his soul is from the ocean and the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah and his life is about taslim to submit.
so that you can become taslima and to become beatific. Because the one who enters into that state, Allah dresses them with beatific lights and beauty. So it means Medina and Madani is that lost in the love of Sayyidina Muhammad So their heart became a Kaaba, their soul is the love of Sayyidina Muhammad How powerful this key now is for the Dajjal system that comes and only wants to talk about Allah but no mention of Muhammadun Rasulullah See how now strong our key is because this key is based on the love of Allah and that you are in the light of Muhammadun Rasulullah That which can't be conquered by the deceit is the truth. Qajal haq that say Janab al haq that when the truth comes falsehood perishes. So who's the falsehood is Dajjal and who's the truth is Sayyidina Muhammad The only fight against that Dajjal is to keep your Muhammadan identity And the last but it's the first is Sham al-Sharif and the Sham al-Sharif re, re, <coughs> represents the reality of awliyaullah. <coughs> that Sham al-Sharif it represents the station of awliyaullah in which our life to achieve this reality is that we have to be under the hands of awliya. Because the real, the real and true state of the Kaaba won't be achieved by you on yourself and you trying to fight your devil by yourself, that, that's a person in quicksand. Nobody fought the devil by themselves, not something that… that Allah wants us in a state of companionship, you must keep the company of truthful servants. So it means the state of Sham al-Sharif is that you must be under the guidance and tarbiyah, the etiquette and the, the, the training of awliya because they represent that reality. They represent the state of Mecca because they are a Kaaba and a Qibla. People circumulate around them with these fires and this energy because their soul represents the Kaaba. Wherever they are is a Kaaba because their soul is inside the Kaaba. They represent that light and wherever they move is a guidance for people. They represent Muhammadun Rasulullah because Allah in Holy Qur'an fiikum that He is amongst you. One understanding is that these Muhammadiyoon they are amongst you because you be with whom you love and whom you love will be with you and if you achieve this state of love Muhammadun Rasulullah is with them and they are with him So they are Madani and they're filled with the lights of Medina at all times and that they represent Sham sharif because they said where Sham al-Sharif would be safe and people thought that they would move to Damascus and now look 20 years there's a battle in Damascus, nothing even is remaining as Mawlana Shaykh would teach, nothing of these buildings will be remaining. When time of Sayyidina Mahdi the jinn will come overnight and build exactly the way Allah wants it to be built and all of these will be brought down. But people thought they would go move there and, and be safe. Means that every zalim would move to Mecca and think by virtue of Mecca they'll be safe from Dajjal. But they are the Dajjal themselves going. Allah will call them out into battles. They'll be hiding there thinking they're, <laughs> they're safe from Dajjal. Allah will call them, come, come fight over there and they'll run out from that. Because it's not about you can hide in a location and you can fool and cheat Allah 
for safety and protection but this is a state within your being. At the same time people who are panicking and saying, well I can't move there, it's not you're supposed to move there, you're supposed to be there. You're supposed to be from the people of Mecca, you are supposed to be the people of Medina to Munawwara and you're supposed to be surrounded by Ahlul Shams, means awliya that you study from them, you learn from them, you eat from them, you watch them, you follow their guidance. That you are like companions of them because you keep their company. If we keep these three states this becomes the protection from Dajjal. <clears throat> this is the immensity of this, this guidance of awliya that people think they can recite 10 verses of Surah Al-Kahf and be protected. And the rahmah that Allah gave to awliyaullah to teach. That key of protection is to understand what Dajjal is going after. He's not going to come after your belief in Allah, not yet. He's going to come after your belief in Muhammad Rasulullah Once he accomplishes that and grabs the communities that he wants to accomplish and they come in droves like a, the, the one calling the flute and all the creatures are running. They come in droves until he declares himself to be a God in Hashim, that he is God. At that time they'll know what I've done. Then he came against Allah but awliyaullah come and teach the hikmah and wisdom from Prophet the first thing he's coming after is Muhammadun Rasulullah to come against the hadith, come against the teachings, come against the love and the ishq and Muhammad of Sayyidina Muhammad And he spent 50 years in the curriculum and the teaching and he propagated his servants who represent the Dajjal that they propagated that teaching around the earth and they are his agents and they are his representatives and they don't represent Allah and they don't represent Sayyidina Muhammad and that we described in Surah Munafiqeen where Allah says, don't be fooled by their La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah They say the kalima but they use it to deceive you and take you into a different direction. And in the last days the guidance becomes clear, the key is Muhammadun Rasulullah And these people have an immense ishq for awliya and when difficulty comes they call upon awliya. Now watch people in difficulty being slapped around, beaten and they're not calling any awliya. Because 50 years of Dajjal teaching took that away, they're not calling on Medina. So this is the immense danger. Bi alhamdulillah for those whom Allah has destined towards guidance and this love for Sayyidina Mahdi love for Ahlul Bayt that through their hearts they give us these understandings and this key, the key is Muhammadun Rasulullah In our lives hold dear that key, hold dear the sunnah and the way and the example of Sayyidina Muhammad wear that proudly upon yourself, that exhibit that love, put that all around you that love and that ishq, it is the key to our survival. Whether people like it or not it doesn't mean anything but is the key of survival and protection and every light and blessing that Allah want to send upon this nation. 
Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun wa salaamu ala al-mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.